Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th, but you know the timing is fluid. Sometimes these don't play out for a couple days, or they don't play out at all because not every reading is for you, but typically they don't play out on the day. Sometimes they do, sometimes they do, so keep that in mind. Anyhow, what do we have for a message for right around the 26th? Let's say that. What do we have for around the 26th? Hangman hey Reverse. So Hangman hey Reverse is somebody that is struggling. They're really in their ego. They're having a hard time letting go. Ooh, we have the devil in reverse on the bottom. Definitely. We got somebody here that may be in a situation that they are tied to. Um, definitely hung up on, tied to, hung up, you know, tied to a situation. <laughs> <coughs> refusing to change, refusing to budge. Um, struggling, 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 struggling to break free. This situation is not healthy. It's definitely not healthy. There's a need to break free or things are only going to get worse. Um, freedom, freedom, freedom. This is about freedom. It's about freedom. If there's a need to break free. I mean, the hangman reverse can mean so many things. It's gonna, we may have somebody here that's unwilling. They're unwilling to change. This could also go the other way where somebody is letting something go. Let's see what the card is that goes with it. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is very grounded, very practical, very realistic, hardworking. Um, this is a planner, and the hangman's a planner as well, so... We have somebody here that is going to be making an approach. They've been thinking about it. They have been thinking about their stability. They've been thinking about their security. This is a hard worker who has some sort of skill. They may have been wasting time or not or sacrificing themselves for a certain situation, learning some sort of skill. So I feel like somebody has learned some sort of skill. Um, they've been taking their time, definitely taking their time, thinking about you know, there's stability. This is somebody that is very practical that doesn't uh, move fast. You know, this is a, obviously there's something that is being done that uh, needs to be thought about. This is it's something that needs to be thought about. Oh, here we go. Ooh, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles all about stability, security, uh, hard worker here. We have somebody here that has obtained financial success through hard work and perseverance could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn male or female this is somebody who is successful because they work 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 so this is a worker this is somebody that is very focused on their foundation very focused on their money their stability their their business their job their their stability so this person has obviously obtained success already because of the throne, the gold, the, the assets. Somebody has already obtained quite a few assets through their hard work. But that hangman reverse is, is like struggling to let go. It is. It's a real struggle. Somebody is really struggling to let go of something. We may have somebody here that's extremely stubborn. Absolutely. Very stubbornly holding on to something. There's a test here. The Knight of Pent somebody's being tested. Their their uh maybe it's their integrity. Somebody's integrity is being tested. It's interesting that we had the devil, didn't we? We did. The devil is very materialistic, very materialistic. So somebody may be holding on to something for materialistic reasons. There is definitely holding on. Have is struggling to let go. We may have somebody here that's holding on to something that feels safe, you know, or they've invested a lot of money into it. So that's why they're, you know, and there's there's greed. Okay, maybe there's we have somebody here that's greedy. Magician. Magician is taking action. We have somebody here that is going to be taking action. This is a creator. 
This is a creator that uh, believes in themselves, that is very highly aware, that is has a divine connection to source. This person is maybe uh, doing something, creating something. This is willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. This is somebody that does believe in themselves, that does have the resources to be successful and understands that evolution is part of the equation. Now this is also as above, as above, so below. So somebody has been, it's like connecting, right? They've been connecting with the divine. Divine has given them a golden opportunity because the King of Pentacles is an opportunity of a lifetime. So it's the Knight of Pentacles. But when you go from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is the ultimate abundance. This is somebody who's very skilled at making money. Okay, this is a money maker, the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who literally makes money in some way, works and does not stop. Okay, this is a work, could even be a workaholic. Definitely could be a workaholic. Um, very focused on business, career, and money. And the magician is very focused, very focused. So we have somebody here that is very focused. They want to create their abundance. The King of Pentacles, the ultimate abundance, right? So we have somebody here that wants to create abundance and they're going to do whatever it takes to create abundance. But in order to do that, that hang me in reverse, we got a problem. That's somebody that is refusing to let go of something. It is. It is. I don't know if we're dealing with a Pisces. Um, but we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn twice. And then we have Gemini. Um, with the magician. So creating success. This is about creating success, doing success, doing whatever it takes to create success and thinking about it. So we have somebody here that is really thinking. They're really, 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 really thinking, 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 thinking. But what is this hangman reversed? What is this hangman reversed? The sun. So enlightenment, enlightenment. Somebody may be coming enlightened. Maybe they've been thinking a lot. Maybe they've been sacrificing themselves. They've been taking their time, going really, really slow. Maybe they've become enlightened. Maybe they're starting to see things clearly, see things differently. Maybe they've, they're gaining a new perspective. There's some sort of clarity that is coming. There's some sort of awareness, again, with the magician. Somebody is becoming aware. They're becoming aware of what they need to do to create their success. But the magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. Okay? Willing to do whatever it takes. So this is somebody that is going to be finding their resources to take action. Because the magician takes action. The lovers, woo, right next to the magician, could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. We have Gemini and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, mostly, okay? Um, we have happiness, we have an opportunity for happiness, we have an opportunity for love. This may even be a love connection. It definitely could be. Could be have somebody here that is partnering up with somebody. This is a partnership. It's unexpected. It's an unexpected choice in love. This is a perfect union. This is a major choice. This is somebody that you have shared values with. And the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles could certainly be two people that have shared values. This is shared values. This is absolutely shared values. So we have two people that are going to be working together. Definitely. This is a perfect match. This is what you asked for. This is absolutely what you asked for. It's right next to the magician cards. What you manifested. Somebody has manifested something. Yes. The answer is yes. The magician is a yes answer. Yes. This is what you asked for. This is the opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. This is, this is something that can bring you wealth. Okay, it can bring you wealth, but you have to let go of whatever it is that you've been hanging on to for, I don't know, codependent reasons, because we had that devil card, some sort of codependency. Okay, you got to find your strength to let that go. You have to, you have to, in order to have this wealth, in order to have this abundance, in order to have this happiness. Okay, you have to let go of something. Magician, okay, has to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. The devil. 
So the devil is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that you have been codependent on. Could be an addiction, could be a person, whatever it is, it's, it's not healthy for you. It's not meant to be, it's, it's toxic, it's not bringing you any type of abundance. It may have brought in you some instant gratification at the beginning, but it's not fun anymore, okay? The hangman is struggling to let go. It's hanging on to something needlessly. You need to let go of something to have this abundance, okay? So, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's a major choice. It's a major choice between two paths, two options, two partners, two choices, okay? Uh, this is a card of consequences as well. So there's consequences for your choice. The magician, it brings success by taking action. So, and there is an opportunity for extreme wealth here or stability or security or whatever it is but you have to be willing to evolve you have to be willing to make major choices in your life and you got to be practical okay you got to be practical you need to uh be open-minded okay you can't be stubborn you got to let go of your stubbornness um you got to look for the light you got to follow the light you got to come out of the darkness okay um, this is a major choice, so that we have we have a major choice here. We have somebody here that is about to do something because the magician takes action. Six of Pentacles reversed underneath that lovers. Six of Pentacles reversed. So Six of Pentacles reversed is a rejection. It is a rejection. It's a one-sidedness. It is unfair you may have somebody here that is greedy they're very very greedy they're selfish they're not they're only they're not giving they're not getting there's a lack of give and take there's a lack of reciprocation there's a lack of generosity there could even be an abuse of power here i mean the magician is a very powerful individual very skilled and then we saw the skills earlier in the knight of pentacles so we definitely have a very skilled individual here that is not getting what they deserve because the six of pentacles reverse is not getting what they deserve they're not getting the reciprocation they reserve they deserve they're not getting the money they deserve they're not getting the uh, balance that they deserve they're not getting what they deserve they're not getting what they deserve because they need to take action to get what they deserve because they're in an unrequited situation where there's a lack of reciprocation. And there's another option here with the lover's card. That is another option. But there's hard work involved. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be work, 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 work. Okay? Letting go is work. Starting over is work. Building a new foundation is work. You have to be willing. If you're, if, if you, I did, I did a quote the other day about changes. You have to be willing to change. You have to. Otherwise, there's stagnation. You go nowhere. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is living the good life. Nothing to worry about. This is abundance. It is. So we have somebody here that is very capable. This is a business owner or somebody that is very capable of starting their own business or going their own way, you know, can take care of themselves, living a good life, self-sufficient, you know, strong. I mean, the nine of pentacles is, is to me, it's kind of like the empress and the minor arcana. This is somebody that is very uh, hardworking, very abundant, living a good life, has nothing to worry about. We definitely, we have a king of pentacles looking at, um, I feel like we have somebody here that's looking at a very capable individual. This person has proven, they have proven that they are skilled. They are proven that they work hard. They're looking at a strong individual that has proven their capability. Somebody's about to get an offer. They are about to get a secure, solid offer. This independently owned and operated individual or whoever this person is that has proven, this person has proven themselves. They have worked hard to obtain success. This person is, has, is a creator and they have proven it. They have proven it. They have proven their, their capability and they're not getting what they deserve. They're about to get an offer. It's unexpected. They're about to get an unexpected offer from somebody.
somebody's going to be opening up. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be expressing something. Oh my God, Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is t making an approach. This is, an, this is an advance or an arrival, direct communication. I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I must do this. This is something rushing in, coming in out of nowhere. This is like assertiveness, this is communication. It's, it's somebody throwing themselves into something, okay? This is somebody that is, is putting some sort of plans in action. It's like they, they've come up with some sort of strategy and they're following through with it. This is not having no fear at all. So we got somebody here that is coming in. This is a fearless individual. They know what they want. They're going for it. They are definitely going for it. They're going towards abundance. The Nine of Pentacles, I mean, that is a very self-sufficient, capable individual who has proven themselves that is just enjoying a good life. This is somebody that isn't, hasn't got anything to worry about. Very stable, very solid, very secure, has plenty to offer, has plenty. Somebody's about to do something. It's going to be, wow. It is a wow because of that lovers. It's very unexpected. This, you know, <laughs> making an approach. Oh my God. Ace of Pentacles, this is a big, huge, somebody's about to get an offer of a lifetime. This is a new investment, could be a new job, whatever it is, it's money. It leads to money, it leads to abundance, it leads to long-term long success. This is huge, it's huge. Okay, this is, a, this is a new business, it's a new job, it's new prosperity, it's financial stability, it's financial security, it's huge. So somebody is going to be getting a huge something. Um, they have not been getting what they deserve, though, because the Six of Pentacles is reversed right next to it. It's like they haven't been getting what they deserve. But they've been manifesting because there's the Ace of Pentacles is manifestation and so isn't the magician. We have somebody here that has a direct connection to source and they have been manifesting something. They've been manifesting. This could be, be a win or a windfall or big money coming in or a gift. It could even be a gift of money. I don't know what the heck it is, but whatever it is, it's huge. And it's beautiful and it's something you can take to the bank, okay? It leads to abundance. If you add that Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, that is somebody that has a lot of money, okay? A lot of money. This is somebody that, I don't know if they're rich or whatever they are. This is somebody who has worked hard, that is very, very skilled, that, you know, has created their abundance. So we may have two people coming together that have shared values. They're going to be... Uh, building something very abundant together because the the Knight of Pentacles builds foundations. So somebody is going to be building a foundation with somebody and it is going to be a strong one and there's going to be a lot of money involved. Five of Cups on the bottom is beginning to realize that there's a better option. Done crying over a loss. Okay, focusing on the future now. So somebody has been focusing on a loss. Now they're going to be focusing on the future. I'm not sure if we even have a new commitment here. I mean, this may even lead to marriage. Um, whatever it is, this is happy. It's contentment. It could be marriage. It could be a proposal. Um, a get-together. Yes, we have yes twice with the sun and the magician. Yes, it's time. It's time to let go. It's time to, because it goes yes, then the hangman reverse. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of what you've been hanging on to. Yes, this is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. Maybe this is just an awakening. You know, enlightenment is the sun and the, and the magician is a wake-up call. It's an awakening. Maybe somebody's gotten some sort of awakening, you know. That they deserve this. They deserve this abundance, you know. Letting go. Letting go. Unexpected choice in love. 
making a move, taking action, doing something. Could be even impulsive, but I feel like we have a planner here. We have somebody here that doesn't really move fast. Okay, this is somebody that plans things, that wants to make the practical decision. But I think that now with the, with the Knight of Swords, that's like the mind is made up. This is putting the plans in action. So somebody's about to get an offer, or, or I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's huge. It's something you can last. It can it can bring long term stability in abundance. I mean, big abundance in the future. I don't know if this is a job or some kind of money. There's 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 money here. There's a lot of money, but there's also love. Okay, we have shared values. We have shared values. We have a perfect match. The world reverse. The world reverse is lack of success. Somebody has been in an unsuccessful situation where there's no success. The only way they're going to find success is to say goodbye to their current circumstances and step forward. This is goodbye. You have to say goodbye. This is a necessary but painful goodbye. Okay, you have to. You have to focus on the future. You can't stay there. You can't stay where there's no love. You can't stay where there's no emotional fulfillment. You have to turn your back. You have to go in a new direction. So I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, leaving. They're leaving a situation with that Eight of Cups. They're saying goodbye. And they're headed towards wish fulfillment because after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. And then the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. So goodbye to whatever this disappointing situation is leads to all this abundance. But you've got to find your inner strength and all the resources within you. to go after what you deserve. And if that means that you have to sever ties, because remember we saw that, we saw that devil, you have to sever ties. It's not easy. It's not easy to sever ties with a toxic situation that you have been codependent on for whatever reason. That, that takes work and it, it takes willpower and discipline and a strong desire for more. Good luck.